in this video I'm going to do a very small example which was sent by one of my nephew who lives in Bahrain her name is Karen and the question is like this if the value of 10 find the value of 10 pi by 8 and the value of 10 pi by 4 is 1 okay this was a question now I hope you know about radians let me google the radians now by definition 2 pi means 360 degrees uh, so you can say pi is half of 2 pi which is 180 pi by 2 is 90 pi by 4 is 45 and pi by 8 is 22.5 so when you're talking about pi by 4 in other words, they're saying that 10, 45 is 1. You want to find 10, 22.5. Okay, so this is a fact that is given. So we have to use the double angle formula. You should know this formula, or it, it would be there in your formula sheet. Okay, now when you ask, now this can be done on a calculator in one step. You press 10 pi by 8 you'll get that answer and if you press 10 pi by 4 you'll get 1 but in this question it's not to use the calculator you can check it on the calculator once you do it algebraically so let me go over the working so this is the formula so tan 2x is 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared x okay so if you use this formula double angle formula can you say pi by 4 is twice of pi by 8. Can you see? Pi by 4 is double of pi by 8. Pi by 4 is 45 degree and pi by 8 is 22.5. So using the same formula, I can say tan pi by 4 is equal to 2 tan pi by 8 over 1 minus tan squared pi by 8. That's done. So let's look at the next question, next part. So I have substituted we already know that 10 pi by 4 is is given to be 1. So I can put 10 pi by 4 as 1. So this is the same thing. So what have I done? Now I can cross multiply. 1 times this gives you this. So I can say, or in other words, you have multiplied this side by this 1 minus 10 squared pi by 8. So I have to multiply also the other side by the same thing. So you come here. The next step is interesting. What have I done is, instead of writing 10 pi by 8, 10 squared, I'm going to make my life easier. I can say let pi by 8 be x. So what will happen? So this will change to 1 minus x squared is equal to 2x. I hope you can see where am I going. I'm going to make a quadratic equation. So I've rearranged this, so I've written this minus x squared plus 1, and I've brought this to the other side. That's minus 2x is equal to 0. So what happens is, I've factored out the negative 1, so minus x squared in the bracket became plus x squared. Minus 2x became plus 2x in the bracket, and plus 1 became minus 1. The next step, I've divided both sides by negative 1. So if you divide this side by, so what I'm saying is, so if you divide this side by negative 1, which you can, you can also divide this side by negative 1. And 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. So now what will happen? Now, I have used completing square. Okay, So I want to make this to a perfect square. These three is, are not a perfect square. So x squared plus 2x plus 1 has become a perfect square. Now I have written 1 plus 1, so I have to take away 1. And this negative 1 is all already sitting there. So this has become a perfect square of x plus 1 squared minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. So now I've moved this, or I've added 2 to both sides. That's what I got. And you reach here. So if you remove the square, you have to take the positive or negative square root of plus 2. Okay, so ultimately you got two answers. X is minus 1 plus or minus root 2. Now you have to understand the tan curve. A tan graph 
is the 10 graph from 0 to 2 pi. And uh, at pi by 2, it has an asymptote, or 10 pi by 2 or 10 90 is undefined. Okay, so that's why it asymptotes towards pi by 2. Now we're interested, this is what is given 10 pi by 4 is 1. So 10 pi by 8 would come halfway between, this is pi by 2, so this is pi by 4, so pi by 8 may come, so let me draw that. Okay, it's very difficult, so let me draw. 10 pi by 8 may come here. So by looking at this, I hope you understand the value of pi by 8 has to be positive. Okay, it's very close to. So this pi, this is say, this is my, this is pi by 8. This is pi by 8. Okay, this is pi by 2, this is pi by 4, this is pi by 8. And the value corresponding to 10 pi by 8 would be between 0 and 1. Okay, so we've got two options now. So this changes to minus 1 plus root 2 or minus 1 minus root 2. Now, you can understand this will become a negative value, isn't it? So this answer you can't accept. So I'll say this I'm not going to accept. So this is what I'm going to accept. Okay. So why what can you why can you say so? You can say because or since this is the notation of since ten pi by eight should be greater than zero. So this is what I'm accepting. Now how can you check it on a calculator? Okay. So get your calculators out, your electronic or graphic calculator. So it should be set on radians. My calculator is already set on radians, I'll show you. The degree is radian. So, so let me type in 10 pi by 8 and see what's the value. Okay, I'll show you 10 pi by pi by 2, pi by 4. Sorry, would be 1. Okay, 10 pi by 4 is 1. So 10 pi by 8 shift to pi by 8 is this huge number, and the number that we have got is root 2 minus 1. So would that give you the same answer? So this is how you check. So you go root 2 minus 1. Boom. Both the answers are same. So the answer that we have got is right. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.